Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres. I'm out here in the septic system. This is the uh, main drain pipe, sewer pipe, if you will, that's going to be coming out of the house and going down into the septic tank. So by slope, I mean the pipe has to be at an angle and it's supposed to be a quarter inch drop per foot. So for every feet of this sewer pipe, it needs from the top end, it needs to drop a quarter of an inch for each foot that it runs down. You can do the math. I mean, I got about 11 feet. So that would be 11 quarters. <laughs> And without a transit, it's hard to tell exactly what your drop is. Um, it would be almost three inches from this end to where it goes into the septic tank down there. The easiest way to tell, I have, this is a slope level that I picked up. You're not going to be able to see it much, but... It has a regular level, but it also, if you see on this side, it has graduated uh, lines that will show you an eighth inch slope, a quarter inch slope, three eighths, <laughs> half inch. You can put this on there and wherever that bubble lines up, you know you've got, I need it to line up like that. You know you've got a quarter inch drop per, per foot. So, I have a lot to dig out because I'm sitting like this. I got to drop it down quite a bit. The reason that's so important and the reason that you have to have that is there's no delicate way to talk about it, really. When you use the toilet and you go poop and you wipe and you got paper in there, you flush it has to go down this sewer line to the septic tank. If it has the idea, ideally it's gonna have enough water behind it for it to float a little bit and enough water force behind it to push it all the way down that line, down a quarter of an inch. If you don't have enough slope, say it's too level, that water is not going to be able to push it down and you're going to get it clogged. If you have too much slope, you would think, okay, I'll drop mine like this. It's going to have to. Now, you can't do that because if it's too much slope, the water that's supposed to be behind it, pushing it, is going to basically outrun it. And the water is going to go down faster than the solids are. So it's very important to get a quarter inch per foot slope. That's the best working slope for the main sewer line. That's what I'm going to be working on today. I've got to get all this dug out so that I can get my drop that I need. And then I can start backfilling this area. That's what I got to do. Is we have a little bit of dry weather coming up that's going to help a lot but let me get to digging here and you just have to keep checking And I'm kind of guessing at how much I need to dig out. 
I'm going to dig it, set the pipe down in there, throw the level on it, see what it shows me. It's hard to do with the pipe already in here. level wow that's pretty close got a little bit more to take out here Fortunately, the pipe going in the sewer tank has a grommet. It's a four inch pipe going into a five inch hole, but with that grommet, which allows that sewer pipe to move around and make adjustments to get everything just where I need it. All right, that's what I wanted. And, yeah, I think that's perfect. All right, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Now, I'm going to shovel this back on top of this, so if we get more rain, it won't float as much. <laughs> All right, so I got it where I need it. I started back from a little. It's not going to float anywhere now. And that gives me my quarter inch per foot drop going to the septic tank. And all I have to do now is wait for the mud pile to dry up. So I can get the tractor out with the bucket and start backfilling all this in. Now I don't have the leach field done yet, but 
I have the pipe going all the way down to the where the leach field is going to drop to the second level. And she came out, she approved all of this. So all I have to do is wait on the weather to cooperate. <laughs> and I'll be able to uh, backfill all of it. But I just, I can't use that dirt because it's nothing but a mud pile right now. So it's all going to have to uh, drain out or dry out. But there's my main sewer pipe that everything will connect to. Oh, I'm happy. It's a good septic system. All right. Okay. Next project, I don't know. Up, it's 85 degrees out here already. This is Saturday, June 21st. And it's going to be the next week or so is going to all be in the 90s uh, with none to very little rain in the forecast. So we should be able to get this part of it done. Then I can save up a few hundred bucks, move Alex's building, get it over here and get started on it while we're waiting on the leach field. The problem with it drying up, you know, I was talking to uh, Bobby last night. He's out here for just a day. Um, with all of this wet weather, he's so far behind at home with his, you know, work that he's contracted to. He's going to spend a couple of weeks trying to catch up. So it might be another month before I get to do the... Uh, leach field but there's a whole lot more I can do while waiting on that and I can use the septic system for a little bit without the leach field so that's the plan but I hope you understand the quarter inch slope uh, it took a lot longer to dig it out than you know I shot video of <laughs> I just wanted to show you what I was digging in. But I had to drop probably about three quarters of an inch to an inch from the top and then all the way down. When we dug it out with the excavator, it just, oh, that looks good. <laughs> so that's what we did. Um, but yeah, now it's where I need it to be. And that project's out of the way. I have to buy the plumbing to get things set up in this room, this addition here. On this wall, the only thing that's gonna be here is a washing machine. That's the only plumbing that's gonna be necessary as far as the drain goes. And that'll slope down to that end where the vanity sink, the toilet, and the shower and everything are gonna be. So all my plumbing will be real easy to get to on that end. And, uh, we can start using it. But this is Joe out here at St. Bernard Acres. Got one project knocked out. See you tonight in my live stream. Remember to like, share, comment, ask any questions, make any suggestions. I'm out.